I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm just noticing it more, but I feel like there's been this huge surge of affordable cashmere companies coming out of the woodwork. And I feel like all over the place, especially this time of year going into winter, all I see is affordable cashmere ads everywhere. I don't know, it's probably just me, but I thought it'd be really interesting to try out a few of these brands and see kind of what the fuss is about. Like is affordable cashmere actually worth it? So in this video, I'm going to order three different cashmere sweaters from three different affordable cashmere companies. And I'm going to do my best to try to find like the most similar items from each of them. So I can really do an apples to apples comparison. I'll probably get different colors just so I don't have a whole, a whole closet full of the exact same sweater. So let's get started. So the first sweater I'm gonna order is from Quince. I think you say it, Quince, I don't know. And by the way, I'm spending my own money on these. This is absolutely no way affiliated with any of the companies, but I will do my best to find whatever kind of like discount code, referral links, whatever, and put them down in the description for you guys. So feel free to use those, but I am purchasing all of these on my own. And the first sweater I have is from Quince. And this is the cheapest sweater of any of them. This is a $50 cashmere sweater, and it has very good reviews. It has a bunch of different color options. So I don't know, I'm actually pretty hopeful about this. I actually have ordered something from Quince once. I bought my husband a birthday present from this company. So I don't know, I that was like pretty soft. So I have a good feeling about this one. So that's the first company. So the second company that I'm gonna order from is this company, Gobi. So this one on the surface looks a little bit more expensive. This is $129, but they have this like buy one, get one free deal that I feel like is something they run pretty frequently because looking at the lot of reviews, people are saying like, oh, I love my two sweaters. So I'm like, okay, this must be something they do frequently. So if that's the case, each sweater from here is going to be about like $64.50, which I feel like is also a very good price and is pretty similar to the Quinn's price. So that is number two. And then the third brand I'm gonna order from is Nadam, Nadam, I don't know how the heck you say this, but they have a bunch of colors and they have cashmere sweaters for $75. So this is, I guess, like the most expensive of the, the affordable options. All three of these are below $100. So I'm gonna order them and I'll let you know when they arrive. So we have some good news. The first package has arrived. And just so you know, I placed all of these orders on November 20th. My building marks what day the packages arrive. And this first package came in just three days. This package is from Gobi. I have not opened it yet. I just cut open the tape. Basically everything is packaged just in some like tissue paper here. I do actually really like that there's not like plastic in the packaging. So this is what it looks like. It's just all, there's no plastic that I can see so far. It's just all in this nice tissue paper here. And then obviously the cardboard box. And then in the box, there is my receipt. Let's take a look. Okay, <laughs> I stand corrected. There is plastic. Never mind. These are the two colors I got. I got this blue and this red one. Gordon. Gordon was about to uh, take down my lights. So let's open these up. I think I'll do the red one. Nice holiday theme here. And just to remember, these were buy one, get one free. Like very first impressions, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't feel super soft. Like it doesn't feel itchy. Like it's not like a unpleasant material. It's just kind of a very like, like, I don't know, just like normal feel feeling like it reminds me almost like cotton or something like where it's it's not an unpleasant feeling but it's not like super soft like sometimes when you think of cashmere you think of like very luxurious very cozy and soft this like doesn't really feel like that to be totally honest with you let's try it on so i have my gobi sweater gordon how about you start up here so I have my Gobi sweater on. I take back what I said before that I don't think it's itchy. Like it doesn't feel itchy. Like it's not like a unpleasant material. I think this sweater actually is kind of made out of an itchy material. It just doesn't feel that nice. I don't know. It also, it feels like a little bit constricting. Like, I don't know if maybe I should have gone up to a medium. I ordered everything in a size small. I don't know. It just, I don't really like it. I think the fit is fine. This one is, is not it for 
for me. I hope this one is my least favorite and the other two are better. I wish I had a little bit more like stretch or something too, or just the fit I feel like is a little bit tight. Okay, so we have the next two packages. I got the other two sweaters delivered on the same day. Today is Wednesday, November 30th. So these ones came a full week after the Gobi one, but let's start with Nadam. And this one, both of these just came in like these plastic envelopes. So pretty similar packaging. So to remind you guys, this one was the $75 cashmere sweater. So let's open it up. So this is the Nottam sweater. So this one is a little bit more expensive. Actually, no, this is the most expensive one. This was like $75. I think this is definitely better than the Gobi one. It feels a little bit softer. I wouldn't say it feels like necessarily 100% soft. There's still maybe a little tiny bit of like a bit of an itchy feeling to it. This is like my favorite one of the two that I've tried. The color is really pretty. I think it also fits slightly more relaxed. Like I find the fit a little bit more comfortable yeah, now let's move on to the third one. Okay, so this is the Wince cashmere sweater. I don't know, you guys. I feel like this one is very, very close to the Nottam in terms of how it feels. Although I feel like it's just a slightly more of like a lightweight, but they're both kind of similarly soft. And so I would say if I had to pick one, uh, maybe I'm leaning more towards the Quince cashmere as being the best option because it feels very similar to the Nottam one, but it's less expensive. It's only $50 versus 75. So I think it might be Quince. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to try on these one more time and do a final ranking. So here we have the Quince sweater. So some details on this one, you have this kind of like longer cuff right here. And this one, again, we have the Nottam. Now that I try this one on again after the Quince, I think that the Quince is actually better because it's slightly more comfortable. I feel like it's just slightly softer, slightly more lightweight feeling. This just feels like a tad bit itchier, I would say. So I think if I had to choose between the Nottam and the Quince, I would say Quince is better. But both of these I would still wear and definitely use both of them. And this one I think actually has the longest cuff here. So here you can see them laid flat on top of each other and the size is almost exactly the same except for this Gobi one is definitely more kind of tapered in here in the waist. Other than that, like the sizing is pretty much the same it looks like, which I could definitely feel the Gobi one, which is red, definitely had the most kind of constricting feeling. And I think also the fabric just had a little bit more of a tighter weave, which also contributed to that feeling, I think. So that's it. Those are the three sweaters I tried. I would definitely say Quince was my favorite. I think for the price, it's cheapest. And it's also, I thought the softest and just best first impression. But let me know if there's more affordable cashmere brands that you'd like me to try out. This is definitely just three of the most popular ones. There's a lot of other brands out there. So let me know if you'd like me to make a part two of this. And obviously this is just my first impressions. I haven't you know, really worn these to know how the durability is. But in terms of my first impressions, those are my thoughts. And if you if you'd like to see another knitwear review, check out my somersault review. I've tried several cashmere items from them and have really enjoyed them. So check that video out next and until next time, bye.